Oh my god, right, go on. You ready? Yeah. Tragic. That was a video of me at 16 years old where I was following a crap workout program. Fast forward to now and I've learned a thing or two. Now on a much better program. You see the problem that my younger self had, and it's even worse nowadays, is there's literally millions of different workout programs available at your fingertips. And it can be confusing on which to follow. So in this video, I want to share my workout program. I created this program several months ago and it's what I've been using ever since. It's a bodybuilding split, so its design is to just pack on as much muscle as physically possible. That being said, it's not for the faint-hearted. This is a very tough split, but I have noticed insane results on it. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is the program. It's a push-pull legs workout split consisting of six different days. So we have push A, then pull A, then legs A, then a rest, then push B, pull B, legs B, and then another rest, and then the cycle restarts. Rest days and proper nutrition are crucial with this program because as you're about to see, it's very high volume and very intense. So let's start off with day one, which is push A. This is a more chest dominant push session and it starts with the incline dumbbell press, my favorite chest exercise. For this, we're gonna do one heavy top set of five to nine reps, and then we lighten the weight and do a back off set for 10 to 15 reps. Remember, with all of the exercises today, make sure to incorporate progressive overloads. We then move on to a machine press of some kind, three sets of 10 to 15 reps, and each set should be looking like this. You wanna be pushing yourself. No matter what exercise in the program today, every Every set you want to go to failure or if not close to. We then follow that up with cable flies, three sets again for 10 to 15 reps, and on the final set, finish with a drop set. So go to failure, instantly drop the weight, and go to failure again. Your chest at this point will be in bits, but to fully just completely finish it off, do one set to complete failure of press ups. With your chest now in agony, we want to hit a bit of shoulders. Lateral raises, four sets to failure. I recommend cable lateral raises like I'm doing here, but dumbbells are completely fine. Finally, to finish off the push day, we need to hit the triceps. Overhead tricep extensions, three sets of 8 to 15 reps, and then tricep push downs, two sets of 8 to 15 reps. And that is push A, a great workout. Day two, we have pull A. This focuses more on back thickness, and it starts with the barbell row. This again is a heavier top set of five to nine reps, and then a lighter back off set for 10 to 15 reps. After that, we move on to the classic lat pull down, three sets, 10 to 15 reps, followed by single arm cable rows, then cable pullovers, and to finish off the back, some rear delt flies. Your back will be really pumped after this, but the pull day is not over, as we need to hit biceps and forearms. Now, these will have already been worked throughout the other exercises today, but we wanna isolate and just fully tear them. Cable curls, three sets of eight to 15 reps, and then dumbbell hammer curls, two sets of eight to 15 reps. And that is pull A complete. Day three, we have legs A. This is a more quad dominant leg day. And it starts with the best, yet in my personal humble opinion, the toughest exercise in existence, the barbell back squat. We'll perform a heavier top set of five to nine reps like usual, and then a lighter back off set for 10 to 15 reps. After this, we move on to leg press, followed by walking lunges, two sets of 10 to 15 reps each leg. And at this point, your legs will be fucked. But to finish it off and to fully maximize muscle hypertrophy, we're gonna be doing quad extensions, and then we'll throw some hamstring work in there with hamstring curls. Oh, and we can't forget calves. Fully to finish off the leg day, calf raises. And that is legs A complete. You should be struggling to walk up the stairs for the next couple days after this. That's when you know you've done it right. <laughs> day four, rest day. Please do not neglect these. This workout program is very high volume. Make sure you nail your nutrition, nail your sleep, and don't miss the rest day. Okay, now we're on to day five, which is push B. This is a more shoulder dominant push day. And we start with weighted dips. Now, a lot of people don't like dips, but it is a really, really good exercise. I myself noticed massive growth when doing it. As usual, a top set of five to nine reps, and then lighten the weight and do a back off set of 10 to 15 reps. Next, we move on to dumbbell shoulder press, another top and back off set, so a heavier five to nine reps, and then a lighter 10 to 15 reps. And then to fully finish the shoulders off, cable lateral raises, three sets, 10 to 15 reps. Next, we wanna hit some chest, so we perform a machine chest press of some kind. We follow that up with cable flies, which on the final set, just like push A, we perform a drop set. And then to finish the push day off, triceps. We do tricep push downs and then overhead tricep extensions. And there we have push B complete. 
Day six, pull B. This is targeting more back width, getting that nice V taper look. And it starts with weighted pull-ups, a top set of five to nine reps and a back off set of 10 to 15 reps. If you can't do weighted pull-ups, I recommend trying resistance bands or using one of the assisted pull-up machines. We then move on to T-bar row, then the classic lat pull-down, and then to fully burn the lats off, cable pullovers. And finally, to bring the back section to an end, we just perform the rear delt flies again like last time. The pump after all of this is just nuts. But just like pull A, we don't want to neglect the biceps and forearms, so rope curls and easy bar curls to finish it off. And there is pull B complete. Day seven, the final workout of the split, legs B. This is a more hamstring focused leg day, starting with stiff leg deadlifts. A top heavier set of five to nine and a lighter back off set of 10 to 15. We follow that with the hack squat, which this exercise causes some strange faces to say the least. After we do some hamstring curls, then we throw some quad isolation work in there with some quad extensions and finish off the leg day, some hip thrusts. Oh shoot, I forgot about um, calf raises as well because we do not want skinny calves. Day eight is another rest. And then day nine, you start the cycle again with push A. That is the workout, boys. If you have any questions, please comment below. I'll try and reply to as many as I can. If you end up using the program, please send me your transformations. I'd be really intrigued to see. Yeah, thanks a lot. Okay, uh, sorry, just before I go, I've got a pretty cool deal with my protein. Been working with these guys for several years. For the next 24 hours only, if you buy something on the website and use my code Joe at checkout, not only will you save money, but they'll also give you a free bag of creatine just by using my code click the first link below it'll take you to the website use my code it'll help me out it'll get you some free stuff thanks guys